Hey guys and welcome back to I Like Watches and welcome to Seiko Saturday number nine. A couple of days ago I popped up to Coventry to see Ryan at Francis and Gay and he sent me away with five incredible watches to unbox and review on I Like Watches. Now if you're not familiar with Francis and Gay they are a UK based jewellers but they sell to the European market and they have an incredible selection of watches. I've put some details in my video description, a link to their website and a an email address for Ryan. Now Ryan is my point of contact at Francis and Gay and he has assured me anybody that comes over to their website or contacts him from I Like Watches he is going to look after so if you are interested in making any purchases whatsoever from Francis and Gay make sure you send Ryan an email. Now in this video I'm going to be unboxing probably the most incredible Seiko watch I have ever seen. I did have a sneaky peek at it in the jewelers before Ryan sent me away with it so it's not going to be my absolute first impressions but still it's been a little while since I've seen it and I can't wait to show it to you guys so stick around enjoy the video. So here it is, the Seiko SLA047J1, a watch limited to only 3,000 units in the world. It costs £3,000, that's around £4,000 US dollars. And this is the green dial black bezel insert watch look at that zaratsu polishing 8l35 movement what i can't believe it it's incredible look at it oh man i did have a good look at it actually in the jewelers um oh it is incredible let me get it out of its box get myself sorted and i'll give you a good look at this watch i'll be back in a mo Right then, here it is. All the plastic has been very carefully removed and this is the watch in all its glory. It's quite a big watch, isn't it? Um, oh, it is beautifully finished. Um, it looks like a very deep case, doesn't it? And the dial looks yeah, quite sunken into that case. Only 300 metres of water resistance. It looks like it should be a 500 or a 1,000 metre diver, given how chunky it is. Um, but uh, oh, it is impressive impeccably finished like I said Zeratsu polishing man it is an absolute beauty and they've taken inspiration from an island Iriamote island I believe um, the color green is sort of designed to represent the greenery from that island and of course as you can see down here on the bottom there was a tag on the watch celebrating 140 years of Seiko and that was the reason for this watch should we have a little feel of the bezel? Right, here we go. Now, the resistance is high. It's got a very nice feel to it, though. It's got that traditional sort of Seiko um, sort of rubbery feel because there is a grommet inside, I believe, that is sort of um, allowing the bezel to slide um, quite nicely and smoothly. But, yeah, the resistance is high. That is not an easy bezel to turn um the clicks yeah they're okay um it's just very seiko but it's like seiko but on steroids and the alignment you would want it to be absolutely perfect wouldn't you and i gotta say i think it is right let's have a little play with the crown crown at the four o'clock then 8l35 movement high beat 50 hours of power reserve yeah winding up action is very nice let's just do a quick date change mm, yeah smooth actually very smooth right bracelet yeah very nicely finished you've got some high polished shoulders on that center link the clasp is a bit different not seen one of these before very nicely finished i've got to say pressed out of shell still <laughs> pressed out of shell <laughs> oh man what you got to spend to get a milled out of shell right there you go and um, this is quite cool you just got to flick this um flick this up and it just pushes up these little levers here and allows you to pull out the um on the fly adjustment and then you can just push it back in um, but then, of course, obviously, to pull it out again, you need to just push this flap up. Um, that's pretty cool. I like that, actually. I mean, it does make the clasp quite bulky, as you can see. Okay, you've got the four exposed micro adjusts. But, yeah, it's quite thick there, isn't it, on the end? Um, high polished sides, push pin and collars, I believe. It's not been resized yet. And links. Um, they sit quite low, don't they? 
a little bit of movement, perhaps a touch more than I would have liked, but still, um, yeah, and they're not bad fitting. And um, hmm, yeah, I mean, they don't necessarily go with the shape of the case, do they? Um, I don't think they look bad, but they just don't necessarily look like they were specifically designed for this watch. Beautiful green dial. The loom on the dial and the loom pip are a different colour to the indexes on the bezel insert. That's a bit of a shame. Um, they do have that sort of off-white look, um, but there you go. Um, I suspect the loom is very good. Should we have a quick look at the loom? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go then. Quick blast with the light stick. Hopefully it shouldn't take much. I suspect the loom on this watch is very, very good. Yes, nice bit of day loom there. Oh, wow, okay. Well, I didn't realise that. Um, you've got some loomed numbers on the bezel insert. Well, that was a surprise. Okay. Of course, this is a monoblock case, so you've got no case back, um, but you do have um, some details. Oh, we've got limited edition at the bottom, O-N... Uh, so it looks like a 2020 watch from November, and this is number 619, limited edition. Yeah, nicely done. You've got the Seiko Wave as well in the middle. Yeah, very nice. It is just a beautiful watch, isn't it? Oh, I really like it. Really, really like it. Obviously, I'm a fan of Seiko watches, and I'm a big fan of their Prospects range. Um, I've seen quite a few recently, and yeah, this is without doubt the best Seiko watch I have ever seen and you would expect it to be it's significantly more expensive than any other Seiko watch I have ever seen right let's have a quick look at the additional strap that comes with it then this is a color matching strap uh, matches the dial and um, probably doesn't come across very well uh, in the light box but it is that sort of Irio Morte island green um, really nice soft silicon strap of course this is what you would expect to use uh, if you were to go diving it is that sort of material that's going to attract lots and lots of fluff and dust and lint um, but like I said it's designed really to be used for diving the buckle as you would expect beautifully finished and that little retainer there, um, it's just got a bit of a marking on it from the uh, piece of plastic that will wipe off. But yeah, again, beautifully finished. Yeah, really nice strap, really nice. Um, nice sort of grippy finish underneath as well. Well, there you go. That is what £3,000 buys you when you go shopping for a Seiko. Um, yeah, I'm not here really at this stage to discuss whether or not it's good or bad value for money. I suspect there'll be lots of comments regarding that in the comments section, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. So please don't be afraid to, um, yeah, let me know what you think of this watch, the price, um, and of course this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts and read your comments. Cheers, guys. Thank you so, so much. I will definitely be reviewing this watch in a few weeks time so look out for that thanks again guys